Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and today we'll be reviewing some Marvel Legends action figure action with Marvel Legends Black Panther and some Marvel 12-inch action figures. But before we get on to the review, we're going to talk about each character. Valkyrie is a female Valkyrie warrior of Asgard, and that's her bio. She wields a sword, but I don't have it. Thor wields his mighty Mjolnir, and he can go, for Asgard! And Ant-Man could be like, I'm going to get giant and crush you, Thanos. And Black Panther is the leader of Wakanda. Wakanda forever! And that's all there is to say about each character's bio. He's a King of Wakanda, Black Panther, Ant-Man can shrink or become giant. And now we get on to looking at the Marvel 12-inch figures. First, we have Ant-Man. Articulation, not much, but you get some good movement out of them. Why not? Same goes for Thor. But no bends at the knee on these figures, but otherwise... Good looking figures. And now for Valkyrie. Arms move. Legs move. But no other articulation. So Valkyrie, I don't have any other comparisons like Loki or anything. But we do have some Avengers style comparisons to look at. First on the list, we got Black Widow next to Ant-Man and Thor. Iron Man. I am Iron Man. Black Panther, Wakanda forever! And of course, Falcon, let's fly, Thor! I really wish I had his wings. And Hulk, Hulk strongest there is! Captain America, Avengers, assemble and take this shield, Red Skull! And that's all there is to say for Marvel comparisons. Now we're actually done with that. We're going to look at our Marvel Legends figure and get close to being nearly done with this review. So let's put away all these Marvel figures and back in the bin I have. And next we're going to look at Marvel Legends Black Panther. So you got a nice product shot of this particular version of Black Panther with a cape. I love the cape, and he's got some fists. And a build-a-figure piece, but other than that, a good-looking box with figure. So now we're going to open up good old Black Panther here. And yeah, look at that body sculpt. Look at that detail. The articulation on this is pretty good, but his legs are so tight I have to loosen them up, I think so I don't break him, because he's so breakable. But otherwise, a good-looking figure, if I do say so myself. He does have some interchangeable hands, like this fist hand and this leg that goes to a Marvel Legends 12-inch style figure. Other than that, that's all the accessories that come with this figure. So I don't lose them. I'm tossing them straight in the accessory bin after this. Then we're going to get down to comparisons. But look at the sculpt and painting on this figure is amazing. I love that about this figure. And look at that paint. Look at that sculpting. Look at how well he stands. He's awesome. But now for some comparisons with some other Marvel figures. Here we got my original Marvel Black Panther from the non-Marvel Legends line. Of course, Marvel Legends Wasp from Ant-Man and the Wasp. I'm definitely so glad I own this. Now I just need an Ant-Man to go with Wasp. Marvel Legends Endgame. War Machine. And I just dropped War Machine's weapon. Drat, I hate it when I drop things. But here he is, War Machine. I'll have to find his weapon and put him back on the shelf. It's a shame when you drop weapons on figures because they're so loose. Way did they design things. And last but not least, Marvel Legends, Thor. 
And I definitely love this Marvel Legends Black Panther. It's better than my original. The cape is really good. I love the cape and I love the hands. Look at that. He can grasp stuff, which is pretty cool. It is a Marvel Legends Black Panther and Marvel 12 inch. Thor, Ant-Man, and Valkyrie worth adding to a Marvel collection? Yes, they are a lot of fun. I highly recommend these. They are so much fun to mess around with and so much fun to display. These guys are worth the money. If you can find them, they're worth the money. And I loved Marvel. When I first watched my first Marvel movie, they were just awesome. And that's why I'm going to continue to collect Marvel figures because they're so much fun and so cool looking. I don't regret not picking up more of these. And I'm definitely going to try to pick up more of these because these are a lot of fun. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out YouTube land.